please welcome to the stage Director of the Office of Personnel Management, Kira Nahuja, and Deputy of Veteran and Department of Veterans Affairs, Deputy Assistant Secretary, Zanetta Adams. How's everyone doing? I know we're coming right before the prime time. <laughs> so make sure to get out of your way really quickly. Uh, it's very wonderful to be here uh, as the voice of God mentioned. I'm Kira Nahuja. <laughs> I am the director of the Office of Personnel Management. So you have to think about the Office of Personnel Management and OPM is like the human resources wing for the federal government. Uh, which happens to be the largest employer um, in this country. Our mission is to recruit, retain, and honor the federal workforce, and to be a model employer, um, an example for employers across the country. We are here today because of our commitment to tribal nations and ensuring your voice in federal decision making. So I'm not gonna be talking necessarily about federal jobs, though I'm happy to do that at some other point. I'm going to talk about another role that we have here at OPM, which is really facilitating an important effort um, that is underway within the federal government. And that is tribal consultation. I am speaking to those who know so much more than I do. And that is the fact that tribal consultation is a cornerstone of honoring our relationship and upholding sovereignty and self-determination. We know that effective consultation requires genuine engagement, continuous dialogue, and in utilizing established best practices. So I think what has been, unfortunately, the environment uh, of late is that consultation has been left to a few agencies to do very well, and not for all of us to really understand our role and our responsibility. All agencies must be equipped to lead effective consultation. And as you know, last year, the president signed a memorandum establishing uniform standards for tribal consultation and directed my agency and Department of Interior to help build a tribal consulta consultation training for all 2.2 million federal employees. Just a small group of people, that's all. So uh, I'm pleased to announce uh, some important steps that we're making forward in this effort that I want to share with you today. So the Office of Personal Management, along with the financial support of the Department of Veteran Affairs, and Zanetta is here with me today, I want to take a point of privilege that her boss, Secretary uh, McDonough gave me a personal call about this a couple of weeks ago about his level of commitment and also the financial and significant substantive support from the Department of Interior. We are building a consultation training module for all federal employees that will focus on increasing understanding of tribal governments, best practices for consultation informed by tribes, and the legal requirements for consultation. So as a part of this effort, OPM led a formal consultation with Interior to hear recommendations on how to improve consultation government-wide and better understand issues that tribes are experiencing. Here's a couple of things that we heard from you all. We learned that for too many tribal communities, consultation is simply what you feel from us is checking the box. And at the same time, we learned that tribes are receiving a lot of requests for consultation, in part because of the president and cabinet's commitment to tribal nations, and that requires so much of your time and expertise. So through this formal consultation on consultation, uh, we determined that we must make consultation more efficient, effective, and less burden burdensome for tribes and federal agencies. In addition to tribal consultation, we know that it is equally important that the federal government, as a part of our unique trust responsibilities, understands and respects tribal treaty and reserved rights. In the consultation on developing this training, lack of understanding these treaty rights 
was the biggest issue the tribal leaders raised. That is why, alongside the consultation module, there will be a treaty and reserve rights module as well that will ensure that federal employees are made aware of treaty rights, taught how to interpret and navigate them, and that they follow a set of best practices previously put together by the White House Council on Native American Affairs. So I am actually ex excited to show a short preview um, of what this new course is gonna look like, but in just a few minutes, because I am really looking forward to my colleague, um, Zanetta Adams, to speak with you for a few minutes. And I'll bring her up, but let me thank you for your partnership, your candor, and your feedback, and your commitment to productive and mutually beneficial, a mutually beneficial relationship between the federal government and tribal nations. So thank you so much. Thank you, Director Ahuja, and thank you, tribal leaders, for your commitment to ensuring that members of your tribe's voices are heard. Secretary McDonough and the entire VAA are committed to ensuring that Native veterans are connected to their earned benefits in a way that works for them. And you, and we want to partner with you on the best ways to do that. The $250,000 commitment is just one of the many ways that we will continue to show up for our Native veterans. Honoring the sovereignty of tribal nations is paramount, and this new training will help fortify federal agencies' ability to consistently enter into tribal consultation with tribal nations in accordance with the presidential memorandum that was signed, as Director Ahuja mentioned, uh, January 2021. Thank you again for the opportunity to serve veterans in a meaningful way, and thank you for your service and your continued service. I know that tribal veterans serve at a large rate, and we want to make sure that we're here to serve you. So with that said, Let's cue, cue the video. Cue the video. Thank you. Wherever it is. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold the video. We're gonna hold the video. <laughs> I think there's some important other stuff happening. See ya. 